this tutorial uh, we are going to uh, check uh, and create a group response so here is the screen and uh, if we hit the specific api of json placeholder for post one and the api give us response like that uh, it's a body id title user id and there is a uh, specific data in it right so what if the requirements is that the user or the mobile end or the uh, front end side needs a data to be encapsulated inside the response key or response object so the, the requirements is that these all fields are inside their specific key so how could we achieve that with the crack indy so let's get started we will look into that and we will uh, make a response like that uh, how could we do that let's deep dive to that i have written the config for that uh, i will show you first the original response which will give us the api right i have created endpoint for that specific and uh, uh, there is a method of get and uh, a backend with a URL patterns of post. I have entered a uh, ID of one and the host address is that. Okay, so that gives us a response of uh, the first one, like the original backend, right? And after that, the important things to notice or there here is grouping response endpoints. I have added here uh, only the group keyword uh, which will give us the specific pattern of data here as well so next I have opened the let's create the clear the console I have already in that specific directory where this crackandy.json file exist so here i will create a build for that uh, in the previous video i have already explained how to use docker with the uh, crackindy so uh, if you have not aware please go to the previous video and look into that and then come and use that specific command so let's get started i will creating a first uh, uh, image of that crackindy uh, once the image is built and then i will run that specific image next i am running that specific image i which i have created it now it's listening on port 8080 if i will see inside the docker there is a crack and the uh, container images which is running so let's deep dive into the uh, if you will hit first original response it gives me the specific backend request as is because i have not added here a data so if i will go to the group response and hit i will refresh now you can see that the response key field object is added and the fields are inside it so have a look at the code as well and then that's it thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the next video